Midfield is obviously going to be where Manchester United are focusing on signings in the January transfer window. So what I want to do in this video is run through six midfielders that I think Manchester United should be taking a look at signing in the January transfer window. I'll run through them from maybe my favourite and top choice to maybe a lesser choice that no one's really talking about. But I'm going to run through six. Please make sure you drop a like on the video. Something I've never done before. Let's have a, a like target on the video. I see how the YouTube is doing it. So why not? I'll join in. Let's even get 2,000 likes on this video. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. There's plenty of giveaways going over Christmas. There's more coming this week. So you definitely want to be subscribed to United People's TV if you're new in town. But let's run through these six midfield cho choices. Sorry. Now, who do you think is going to be top of my list? I think you all know by now. Certainly if you watch enough of my videos. And that's Amadou Haidara. Now, Amadou Haidara, as we know, is a player who plays for Leipzig. How old is he? He is 23, play, well, currently internationally playing for Mali. Currently playing for Mali? He's always going to play for Mali. That's a ridiculous thing to say. But anyway, contracted until June 2025. And if we take a look at how Haidara has played over his career so far, he operates in central midfield. That is his position. So what, I, what you're going to see when I run through this, these midfielders is there's different types of midfielders. Some that are more defensively minded, some that are more like a box-to-box -box player, like Haidara. Now, Haidara has been speaking out in the German press. He was questioned about Manchester United. It's obvious that he wants to play for Manchester United. It's obvious that he wants to play for Ralph Ragnick. Now, what sort of midfielder is he? And again, this is what I'm going to do for all six of these midfielders. I'm going to take a look at where they play most and where they have played over their career, You know, their prices, uh, their contracts, etc. who's more likely and also taking a look at their scouting reports because if you look at Ayadara, and this is a big thing I this is a big thing I admire about him. He's very all-round. Look at the greens, greens all over the shop. No real massive weaknesses, interceptions and clearances, a couple of reds down there, but he is very much a progressive midfielder. And this is why I find Hadara so interesting because he's very box to box. If we were to head over to look at a tactical look of where Hadara would fit inside this system, Fred and Hadara would basically play very, very similar roles, both be aggressively going forward, but also at the same time be covering. It'll be like one goes forward, it'd be like a set of, um, I don't know what we call it, a set of scales maybe. When one goes up, the other stays back. When one, the other one goes up, the other one stays back. Haidara and Fred, for me, I could see them complementing each other extremely well inside that midfield system and moving up as a unit and moving down as a unit if they need to as well. Out of all the midfielders on paper, Haidara is somebody who Ralph Rangnick obviously has experience with because of his time at Leipzig. He's clearly somebody who wants to play for Manchester United. He's at that age, he's 23, he's got a, he's got a lot of his career ahead of him. And Haidara, it excites me, the idea of him coming to United. As I said, 140 appearances in central midfield, 18 goals and 23 assists. He's, 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 he's got a bit of an attack to his game, certainly more than some of the other options. So I, Amadou Haidara, for me, is probably top of my list. But there are plenty of other good midfielders that we need to have a discussion about. Now, second on this list is Frank Kessie. Now, you'll all remember him from the Europa League last year. For me, I think Frank Kessie was probably AC Milan's best player. 24, uh, Ivory Coast International. But this is the important thing about Frank Kessie right here. His contract expires in the summer. And you might see that as a repeating pattern between now and the end of this video in terms of the players that we're looking at. Because... You know, some people might say, ah, Sam, signing players simply because they're running out of contract or they're free in the summer, that's just being cheap. That's a Glazers talk sort of signing. Uh, yes and no. Um, at the same time, like, if you look at what Juventus did for a good few years, and they nailed it. Obviously, they got Paul Pogba first. But if you're smart, you can make very good signings for a very reasonable amount of money because of the contracts, right? So I don't think United should be ruling it out. Uh, Frank Kessie, if you look at positionally, he's played again. Central midfield, 159 appearances. Defensive midfield, 107 appearances. He's played in both positions. 24 goals and 11 assists. Quite similar numbers there to Amadou Haidara, really. 18 and 23. And if you look overall at Frank Kessie's scouting report, what sort of midfielder is he? Again, well, he's got a little bit more of the weaknesses down here. Now, this is a question I want to ask you all in the comments, eh? Uh, do you think that Frank Kessie, look, the pressure's top 20, bottom 25%, tackles bottom 40 He's not that sort of pressing midfielder like Amadou Haidara is. If we were to compare the stats there, look at Haidara's stats. You know, he's, he's, he's not incredible in terms of the pressures and the tackles, but he's certainly better than Frank Kessie. But look, Kessie again touches in the attacking penalty area. He's up there in the top 10%. Uh, pass completion, decent. 
uh, pro progressive passes received. You know, he's good at receiving the ball in the opposition area. If you're looking at Frank Kessie, I would say that would be a case of Fred probably dropping a little bit behind Kessie. Or maybe, just like Haidara, maybe that'll be a duo that complements each other well, that can go forward at the same time, that can come back at the same time. I see a lot of similarities to Kessie and Haidara. The, where the similarities probably end is that, you know, the pressing game is naturally part of Haidara's game by comparison of Frank Kessie's game. But out of those two, who would you choose? They're two very, very good options. Uh, Kessie, as I said, is available. We could uh, negotiate a pre-contract agreement. Maybe we couldn't get him in January. Or we could get him in January if we wanted to pay a bit of money. But we could agree a pre-contract agreement with him and get him for free in the summer. And look, he's worth 50 mil. I, I think whether it's United or not, whoever signs Frank Kessie, it's going to get a very good central midfielder. And we saw that in the Europa League. So there are two choices so far. Now let's move on to the third choice, which has emerged this week. And that's Bubakar Kamara. Now, he is a 22-year-old, more of a defensive midfield signing that we could make from Marseille. And again, the same thing. His contract expires, as you can see there, in June 2022. So just like Frank Kesse, he's a player that we could agree a pre-contract agreement with in January. Or pay a little bit of money for him. What sort of midfielder is he? I hear you ask. He's more of a defensive midfielder. This is why the, mid the sort of midfielders I'm looking at here, they're not all the exact same, these six midfielders. He's played 80 games as a defensive midfielder, but quite importantly there, 64 games as a centre-back. And if you're looking at his scouting report in terms of what sort of player is he, he's not somebody, I mean, this is quite obvious, right? If you've played 64 games as a centre-back, you're not really going to contribute that much going forward. Your game is going to be focused on defending uh, passes you know he's a player with very he's very confident with the ball at his feet pass completion rates very good tackling is very strong blocks and clearances is almost like as i said he's a player who's played nearly as many games as a center back as he has as a central mid oh, a defensive midfielder really so if you're looking at what could happen here if it was kamara and fred it would likely look a little bit different to frank kessie or amadou hardara in that you'd see Kamara probably dropping a little bit behind, maybe like what Matic would do if he was, you know, not old as fuck. Um, and Fred would probably be allowed a little bit more freedom to get into these areas, whereas Kamara would probably marshal over here. It will be a different, in my opinion, it will be a different type of setup if we got Kamara. I'm just speaking hypothetically here, of course, Kamara and Fred. If, if it happened... I would imagine that Kamara would operate a little bit deeper. So he's not particularly a Paul Pogba replacement, which I've seen him lined up as. As I said, he's a player who has played nearly just as many times in his career as a centre-back as he has a defensive midfielder. Whereas compared to Frank Kessie, who's played 160 games as a central midfielder, more so than defensive midfield, and Amadou Haidara, who's played 140 games in central midfield, only 20 in defensive midfield. Bubaka, Bubaka Kamara is more of a defensively-minded central midfielder. But again, somebody who we could be looking at signing during the January transfer window. So out of those three choices so far, who have we got? We've got Amadou Haidara from Leipzig. We've got Frank Kesse from AC Milan. We've got Bubaka Kamara from Marseille. Three, I would say Haidara and Kesse are quite similar. That's an argument to be had there. Kamara is someone very, very different. And that's how I think he could set up alongside Fred. But next on the list, such an exhaustive list, Aurelien Chouameni. Now, remember, we were linked with him during the summer, weren't we? In that time, we were linked with Chouameni, we were linked with Neves, we were linked with Niguez, and we were like, we're going to sign a midfielder, surely, 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 and we did. Now, his contract doesn't run out until 2024, so uh, unlike Kessie or Kamara, it wouldn't really be an opportunistic signing. It would be a signing that we made if Ragnik felt he was right for us. Now, what sort of midfielder is Chouameni? If you look down here, he's played 70 games as a defensive midfielder. He has played 29 games as a central midfielder and once as an attacking midfielder, but his main attributes lie in the defensive side of the game. By saying that, he gets his shots away. Nearly in the top 50, he's in the top 15% in shots per 90 versus other midfielders. Looking down here, look at that. Top 1% for tackles per game. Chua many, wow, four per 90. That's his average. Interceptions, nearly three per 90. Top 5% for both of those. In the middle, he's, yeah, he's a bit of a middler when it comes to passes. Bet middler, that's what I call him. Hocus pocus. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, so as I said, I, I, not bad, but average in the middle there. And I suppose a little bit average there, but that's kind of surprising. I didn't know he got forward that much. But the, those two there, aerials, top 10% for aerial duels. One is a powerful central midfielder. So if we were, oh, have I got the wrong one up? 
Oh no, he's absolutely ruined it. He's over there. No, he's ruined it there. There he is. Got too many windows open. Jeez. Too many. So if we're looking at how too many with these sorts of attributes could line up there alongside Fred, I think that will be quite obvious. If we're looking at a four triple two, it definitely would be that. It will be too many covering the space in behind, allowing Fred to sort of navigate this area and focus where Fred has been good, right? And of course, I'm only speaking about Fred. Now, I'm not saying that Fred's going to be here for life, okay? So don't get offended by this. I'm just looking at the squad and the realistic idea that we're probably going to only, only make one signing in the January transfer window. So that would probably, if we're going to get two and many, for example, I think he would operate and marshal this area. It's not as if he would just work sideways, but I imagine it would be his main focus, which would allow Fred to really focus on going forward. And as we've seen in the last few weeks, we all knew that, well, maybe we didn't know, but Fred was one player who I expected to shine under Ralph Radnick. And we're really, really seeing that. Really seeing that. But Chua Mene, as I said, a very different type of player to Haidara and Kese. Maybe a little bit similar to, or similar to Bubakar Kamara. But who else could be on the list? Maybe Dennis Sicaria. Out in Switzerland, who is he playing for at the moment? Borussia Munchen Gladbach. And again, his contract runs out in the summer. So he is somebody who could be available for pretty cheap, considering how experienced he is inside that role. What sort of midfielder is he? You're looking at that. 151 games as a central, sorry, as a defensive midfielder. 47 as a central midfielder and 17 as a centre back. Dennis Sicaria, very much in the more towards the Bubakar Kamara than someone like Frank Kesse. So what sort of player is he? Let's take a look at his scouting report. And not, fair, fair enough, non-penalty goals. He's actually nearly in the top 20%, so he does get some decent shots away for sure. Pass completion, very confident with the ball at his feet. Dribbles complete is quite impressive, top 10%. But if you're looking at progressive carries, only 60%. So maybe it's like confident in possession, but not really taking it forward. And here we go. Down here, and, this, and again, this is not a surprise from a man who's played 150 games as defensive midfield and nearly 20 games as a centre-back. Very good in terms of interceptions, blocks and clearances, but pressures and tackles, 7 and 21. Now, we need to look at that and have a conversation about it. Do you think that would rule Dennis Sicaria out from being a signing at all for Ralph Radnick? Because if you're looking at that, look, bottom 10% for pressures, bottom 10% for tackles. If we were to go over here and look at Chuameni, Top 50, oh, that's right. He's, he's okay for pressures. He's okay. He's, in, he's a middler. He's a bet middler. What about Kamara? Only the bottom 30%. What about Frank Kesse? Bottom 25%. But again, even if you look at Amadou Haidara down here, he's only 63%. So he's not exactly the best in the world at it. But what do you think that would rule Dennis Sakaria out from being an option for Ralph Radnick? I don't think it would. But again, if you're looking at the strengths of his game, his interceptions, his blocks, his pass completion, he would basically be a person who would screen. Again, it would, it, would, it would give Fred the freedom to go forward a little bit, and it would probably be Zakaria dominating this area of the pitch rather than being someone like um, Frank Kesse or Amadou Haidara, I believe would both be, have the far more ability to go forward and bring the ball forward. Zakaria would probably be take up more of the disruptor role away from Fred and allow him to sort of disrupt in this position rather than disrupting this position. And that, as we know, gets the best out of Fred. And it's about signing somebody who complements our midfield setup, who can help Fred become a better player. Because as we've seen recently, he, he's, his seeding is far higher than Scott McTominay's, right? I think we can all agree on that by now. Anyway, so that's the names on this so far. We've got Amadou Haidara. Let me run through them quickly before we move on to the final one. Amadou Haidara from RB Leipzig. We've got Frank Kesse from AC Milan. We've got Bubakar Kamara from Marseille. Aurelian Chuameni from Monaco and Dennis Sicaria from Munch, Borussia Mönchengladbach. And the final name I've got on my list might be, a, might be unlikely, but I want to have a conversation about him. That's Marcelo Brozovic. Again, going to be a free agent in the summer. His contract runs out. He plays for Inter at the, at the moment. And as, as far as I know, Inter are pushing to get him to sign a new contract. I would expect that to be the scenario that happens. But again, United should be sniffing around. This is about having... United doing a lot of scouting around and saying, right, these are all the options we've got and then shortlisting and narrowing it down. Maybe this is the, yeah, this is a top list. It's not a shortlist having six people on it. What sort of player is Marzella Brosovic? Now, he's certainly an experienced player. Look how many games he's played. 150 in defensive midfield, 100 in central midfield, but 51 as an attacking midfielder as well. And right midfield, left midfield, right winger. 
He's played all around. He really has played all around. And what are his attributes here? Let's have a look. Marcelo Brozovic is somebody who loves having the ball, the, the ball at his feet. Passes attempted, top 5%. Pass completion, top 5%. Progressive passes, top 5%. Progressive carries, not so much, but he can certainly pass through the lines. Shot creating actions, top 10%. Assists, top 20. Now, he is not a midfielder who's going to do particularly hard work. Now, maybe that's going to rule you out of Marcelo Brozovic. And again, if we're looking here, you're probably going to look then at a bit of a switch. You're going to look at Fred would have to play maybe slightly behind Brozovic. And Brozovic would then be the player who's allowed to sort of pass through the lines, pass it up to Sancho, pass it up to Ronaldo, Rashford and Bruno. Instead of being a sort of hard-working central midfielder, I would say, and that's why Brozovic is a sixth on my list, all right? Or at least a sixth person I talked about. I think out of all the options, it's probably not the one whose attributes really match what United need. I mean, of course, we do need a playmaker from deep. So somebody who's got great progressive passes, progressive carries, pass completion. Excellent, excellent. But he, he doesn't have that work rate. And I think we need that inside that midfield. And that, for me, is why I think there are two standout options, in my opinion. And that's Amadou Haidara, and that's Frank Kessie. From this six, anyway. I'm sure there are other midfielders that you would like me to take a look at. If there are, please make sure you let me know in the comments below. I always listen to you in the comments. I always listen to the community and do the videos that you want me to do. And that's why I've done this video on these six midfielders. But Amadou Haidara, I can see the, the attributes of his game. Look, he's greens everywhere. He's a man who doesn't have a particularly huge weakness. He's a man who really can, I believe, come to United and shine and become an improved player at United. And I think in terms of a midfield two, that's the one I think could complement each other the most. Haidara and Fred sort of moving up, sweeping up as a system, maybe as a two, sweeping back as a two if they need to, but they've got the energy and the qualities to recover when they need to. And that for me is why Fred and Haidara could work very, very well together. But in the same sense, I think Frank Kessie would as well. I've explained that. We took a look at Frank Kessie's stats again. He's... He's a good player. And I think that Kessie and Fred could move forward together as a unit. But then we took a look at Bubakar, Kamara. We took a look at Chuamene. We took a look at Denis Sakaria and Brozovic. Very, very different midfielders all round, man. There's six kind, I would say, Haidara and Kessie are similar. Kamara, a little bit more defensive. Chuamene, certainly more defensive. And Zakaria, those three are kind of similar. And then Brozovic is a bit of a curveball. But there's six midfielders that I think Manchester United should be looking at signing during the tra January transfer window. You let me know what you think about those six. Who would be your top choice? Is there a midfielder I haven't spoken about that you would like me to do a video on? You let me know in the comments below, as you always do. And if you did enjoy the video by the end of it, and you're still here, welcome to the end of the video. Please consider, please consider sorry, dropping a like on the video or subscribing to United People's TV if you're new, you want to see more of this. But let me know which out of those six you would choose if you were Ralph Ragnick. <laughs>